we are going to use Secret Manager to store our SSH private and public keys and then log into our servers with Identity Aware Proxy. The keys will be kept secret by Secret Manager. The Identity Aware Proxy means we can log into our virtual machines without having to have public IPs, keeping them off of the internet but giving us access to them through the Identity Aware Proxy servers. So we take a look at our virtual machine instances. We have two of those running, a Bastion host and a Docker host. We're going to try to log into the Bastion host using the keys stored in Secret Manager. To do this, we're going to use Cloud Shell. You can access Cloud Shell by clicking Activate Cloud Shell button on there. You can also send it to another screen by using the Open a New Window button on the right. And that'll take you to shell.cloud.google.com. You can also just browse directly to shell.cloud.google.com and access Cloud Shell at that time as well. The first thing is we need to get a copy of the keys out of the secret manager that we can use temporarily and we'll just delete them when we're done. So to access secrets, we use gcloud secret module and you can list the secrets that you have if you forget their names, so it's convenient to know that. So now that we know the name of our secrets, we want to access version number one of the private key. Recall that credentials are stored inside of versions, which themselves are stored inside of secrets. So we need to specify the version that we want to use. We want to say that we want to access version number one, and we have to give the name of the secret itself. We had already printed that out up here, so we'll just copy it, and then we paste with Control V, and we'll store that in a file called key. That's a local file that's going to be installed here on the cloud server. We're going to do the exact same thing, but for the public key, because uh, in order to use SSH, we have to have the private key and the public key. So we're going to call the public key key.pub, and then we're just going to change the name of the secret here to public key and grab a copy of the public key as well. So now we have both files locally here on our Cloud Shell server. Before we move on, we're going to change the permissions on the key file because SSH does not like it when the key has too much permissions. So we're just going to kmod 400 the key, and that means that we can read it ourselves, but others cannot. From here, we just use the gcloud compute SSH command like we always would to log into server using the identity where proxy. The major difference from a normal SSH login being this flag tunnel through identity aware proxy, we pass in the SSH key file name, which we called key. Note that it's the private key file name, not the public key file name. And then from there, it's just our username at Bastion host. Bastion host being one of those two VMs we saw earlier. So now we go ahead and hit enter to log in. And I'm going to use the default zone. And now we have to unlock the key because when we created the key, it's an armored key, meaning it's protected by a passphrase. So we have to provide that passphrase to unlock it. And now we're logged into the Bastion host. Once we're done doing whatever we need to do inside of our host, we can exit out. And then we can remove the keys from this ephemeral host so there's no copies left behind. And then, of course, the virtual machine itself uh, is inside of our VPC, but it gets destroyed by Google whenever we exit the cloud shell. So now, in this case, we've cleaned up after ourselves, and we've accessed our Bastion host using Identity Aware Proxy without exposing the virtual machines to the internet. We've also tunneled that SSH connection over the secure IAP tunnel, and we've used the secrets from Secret Manager without having to copy secrets locally or otherwise take a chance on leaking our SSH keys.